So, uh, I've been asked about my guitar paintings a lot. It's the most ambitious project I ever did. It's five, six of these giant gouache paintings. Each are a self-portrait of my guitars. I love my guitars. I always have loved my guitars. So, in tribute to those beautiful guitars, I painted a portrait. I don't consider them a still life as much as a portrait because although they are a still life, there's things in here that have to do with the instrument and the character of it and what I think of it. So let's start with this right here. This is an Epiphone Joe Pass Emperor Jazz Guitar. And um, I really love that guitar. And uh, so in the portrait, uh, I'll explain a few things. This here, I, I added this microphone here because this to me is a retro guitar. This is from an era past, although they're still used now, but its design, its qualities are from the 50s and 40s and 60s. So I incorporated that. Um, I threw a chameleon in there because this guitar does a lot. It's got a pod you pull on and it reverses the coils on the pickups changes the sound entirely so it's chameleon-like. It can make sounds that float around gracefully, so that's why there's a butterfly in there. Uh, it can be very exotic sounding, that's why I threw this African bird in there. It also can growl like a lion if you set it right and use the right pedals. Ergo, uh, an African lion. Now in the background, you'll see blue note and the head of a bass guitar. These are jazz. That's a jazz setting from a jazz club. So that's why that incorporates into there. Uh, the guitar is also used for blues, so I incorporated a lot of blue color in there. So that's why that ended up with that uh, menagerie of things in there. It's what I think about the guitar. Now, on each of these guitars, I mounted a pick on the mat that is the pick I use with that guitar. So these are original paintings. They are 48 inches by 24, which for a gouache painting is enormous. It's just flat out huge. The challenge with these, when I painted them because of the size, I had to paint half of it upside down. So I would paint what I could reach here, turn the painting around on my desk, paint the other half upside down. It was quite a challenge. Even then, I was using a footstool so I could get further up on the desk and, and look over the art.